I'm too stuck in my genre of hip hop. Like, no, yeah. like, like I go through, do you know who I listen to? Yeah. This you, is not going to make any sense. Like right now I'm listening to Larry June. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, but like, bro, nobody, no TikTok Irish, kid yeah, is, is going to be like, oh, Larry you're rocking June. with Larry June yeah. or, or Dom Kennedy or shit like that. Like, like who else is even on my, on my shit right now? I got three Larry June suicide boys. Um, like, like it's not shit. Like, I'm trying to think of who the last. What What about? Do you guys know who Destroy Lonely is? That's what I was literally yeah. about to ask yeah, you about. Yeah, like so I, I got a couple. Yeah, movies, for right? sure, for sure. I got a bunch of his songs on. So like, technically, that that you a true crime fan? Like at podcast? Yeah, or like nah, documentaries or nah, anything? Nah, because nah, I don't really. I get feel like time. the reason why I like drill music kind of overlaps with why I might also enjoy like some true crime type shit because it's like you're listening to music, but you're also kind of like decoding like a gang mystery while you're at. Well, it. yeah, because I like like Key Glock. Yeah, and shit. Yeah. I listen to like some of that type of stuff, but it's as you could tell, like it's all the majority of it is like very like street shit. Can you like, spend just, like a day with King Von, like only listen to King Von for twenty four hours and then report back to me? Where you, you also you have yeah, to watch a three yeah. hour documentary about. Yeah. Are you listening to King Von at the song? Or, um, I mean, I know a couple tracks, yeah, but yeah. By Magic no King Von like, was on Impulsive. Be that sick. Be yeah, we even had it, bro, bro. Because I would love, obviously, like would love to have some of those type of episodes, but like it just. It's just, I don't think it's Logan's like cup of tea. I got some good clickbait for you right here. I was watching like a YouTuber documentary. Obviously, we live in the commentary reaction video channel world. And I heard somebody just say, Impulsive has fallen off and that it used to be huge and now it's not huge. And I heard that and I was like, oh, I wasn't really aware that that was a narrative. I didn't really bother to go dig through the social blade or anything. But how would you react to that statement? Do you feel like there's any truth to that? Um, when it came out, there was a lot less podcasts. Yeah, I think I think views have have certainly gone elsewhere. I think there's I think at the end of the day, there's there's almost like a legacy running period for that type of like super clout infused, like ferocious viewing. Mm. Eventually, you're going to end up in a place where you just are relying on your true audience. Um, you know, we'll I mean, well, shit, we'll have episode. It just is really it, that's the other thing. It's really episodically rated and based on on per episode performance mm. it's like we could do an episode that gets you know we did an akon episode a couple yeah. weeks ago we put it out a few weeks ago how many the full interview you get maybe like six hundred thousand or something like that pretty good but he he's done a lot of other podcasts over the last few years well, that i feel like you know the reason i bring it up is because like that was one of my favorite podcasts mm. i really mean that like akon is a, is a very special human bro Great right man. like just real good orator spiritually driven just smart dude right knows about how to invest money so on and so forth then we'll do the next week we did our erling podcast i think it's got like 3.2 million on it and so mm. we we'll always we you know what i'm saying it's 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 and then anytime we the, the thing is is anytime we do a boys only episode like if we sat down and did this for an hour and a half it always does about one to 1. 1.4 million because we get to talk about, because because like imagine it like this, if you have a guest on that's not like this super engaged, you know, social media guest like an Akon for example, who yeah. people know from Smack That and like some other shit, but like he hasn't exactly been <laughs> right going crazy in two thousand twenty three. You know what I'm saying? Only the people that give a fuck about what he has to say are going to listen to that, right? And we'll try to clickbait our way around it. Like we asked Akon about Lana Rhodes and the, t you know what I'm saying? Like we, you know, you could do your best, but at the end of the day, it's. You you can only you can only have so many high profile fucking guests on mm. until eventually you just gotta make content. Some of it's gonna get a, a you know seven hundred eight hundred thousand views whatever. Like bro, you're gonna you'll see the same thing with Full Send. Mm -hmm. Full Send was doing you know three million two million every episode. Now they've got episodes that do a million, and then a slowly but surely it'll drop down to under that. You know what I'm saying? Like it's. The audience changes. They move in other directions. They want new formats. They want new shit. They just stop watching content. Algorithms change. The YouTube algorithm has gotten brutal. Right. The YouTube al algorithm has gotten brutal, which sucks because that's where I burn all my energy. I, I don't post nothing on TikTok. I don't post, post nothing anywhere except YouTube and Snapchat. That's it. And the YouTube algorithm has gotten fucked up, dude. Like, really. And it's made, and it's made life really fucking hard because, man... Just out of nowhere, bro. It, that's one thing. When you see your audience trickle off, 
and you're like, quote unquote, falling off, that's fine. Like you, you can make adjustments, you do the best you can. But I hit a wall with, on my channel Mm -hmm. where I was getting like, I was like hitting a million, like every episode, every week for sure. No matter what easy it's sometimes more where it just went down to like 500,000, like out of nowhere. And then, and then I was just trying to, and now I'm climbing my way kind of back out of it. And you feel like that was like an algorithmic thing at that time? like that. We just hit 600,000 subscribers on the clips channel right here. We're trying to get to 700. So you know what to do. Smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.